6. Mm, does it drop? Rhys Clark, uh, 6. It may, may have done with a little bit more pace. Hmm. Just didn't have the pace to just flick off the cushion and drop in, but it was another good chance. Just looking at the red in the middle, Ronnie, but he's also got the option, obviously, of coming off the side cushion and potting the red that's over the pocket. He can play this in a way. If he just gets the pace right here, he could end up on the black off this if he just plays a nice pace. Well... One. It's a hit cushion first, really, to get on the black there, but I've potted it, which is the object, but this is a really difficult shot on the black. <coughs> yeah, terrific pot. And maybe that. Eight. Shot from Reese when he left that red over the pocket. Although he didn't maybe think of it at the time. Could be his last Nine. shot. As I say, he's had a good start to his career, and he, as Steve Davis was saying in the studio, it's all about a learning curve. Twenty-four. Made into an area there, give himself options and come perfectly on this red. Twenty-five. Yes, and that's for Reese. Well, he's obviously got plenty of talent, John. He wouldn't be in this stage of the tournament, and he's only twenty-two. He's got plenty of snooker in front of him. And you can put this in the category marked a day at school. Thirty-two. Because, uh, he's playing against the maestro here. Now knows what's required of him at the top level. He'll have easier 33. matches than this one. And against Ronnie O'Sullivan live in the UK on BBC TV. So he can use this and come back to fight another day. 40. 41. Never easy sitting in that chair watching someone pot all the balls. Especially when you feel like you haven't done yourself any justice, but we know he can play. He's beat some good players in his time, Reese. Forty-eight. And prepare for the next event. Forty-nine. <clears throat> Fifty-five. Fifty-six. So just a little, over one hour, eleven minutes, and we're not far from the end here. Yes, Johnny, slowing down, isn't he, in his old age? He was <laughs> 56 minutes the other day. Yep. Six to be fair, he's uh, he's missed a few. 64. But he is only human, and he's definitely had a chance to win one frame. But now. 65 points for lead, just as red needed. 72. And that's it. <laughs> 66 points for the lead, just 59 remaining. Seventy-two points for the lead now. Seventy-eight. So on their way back to the table for young Reese. 
79. First time I've seen him play, but I've looked at uh, the record, as you say, and three last 16s in your first season, that's good. So, a name to remember for the future. Yes, John, there's no doubt he's got talent. Absolutely. 86. We're very far without that. It's just adding to that experience and, as I say, just tightening up a bit with his cue ball control. And he could be a very, very good player. Leaves a kiss on the red. Not got it. 92. Have to resort to the double. Well, not quite. Yes, yes! 93. <laughs> Now, Mr. Brown, come off the side because you nudged the red. Super! We may see century break number 846, career. We will do! 99. Oh, he thought he missed it. 104. 106. Yeah, on that second last red when he played the double, he didn't go in. Reese was out of his seat when he shaked on his hand and then he had to sit back and not suffer, not suffer, because he'll have enjoyed this experience. There's no doubt about that. If you can't enjoy playing in the centre stage against one of the top players in the world, then do something else, but uh, obviously he'd like to have played better. One or two shots, I'm certain that he'll look out and think he could have played it better. 118. And now a few little exhibition shots from Ronnie. And there's another one. <laughs> Come on, Ron, give us a clue in his pocket. Can you can hear from the roar of the crowd how much they enjoyed that. Well played, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Sympathy for Reese Clark, but believe me, he'll be back. He is a talent, but so is that man who rockets off. A winner by six frames to nil.